Sunday channel. If you've been here before, then you know what today is, and it is Synthetic Sundays. If you are new, welcome. And this is something that I do every two weeks just to give you guys some affordable options um, on units because I know that some of these units can be really, really expensive. Um, and a lot of you guys send me requests on different wigs that you want to try that are cheaper um, than the actual human hair unit. So that is what Synthetic Sundays is. So everyone is welcome. Um, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like it, you should. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into today's unit. So today's unit is from DivaTress.com and this unit is an Empress Lace Wig Custom Boutique Bundles. It doesn't really have a name. I'm assuming that's the name of it, especially when I search it. Um, that's what comes up is Boutique bundles but it's a sensational empress lace unit um, and she has six inches of parting space so this was actually requested by one of you guys one of you guys asked me to find a bomb straight unit that can be worn in a middle part and a side part so this is one of the ones I found I found another one but this is one of the cheaper ones that I found and it's about 23 ish dollars um, give or take depending on the website but this one is from divatresses.com divatress I don't know why I always add an extra S to it, um, but yeah, I got her in a number four, and this baby is long, okay? So, this is what she looks like. So, she comes with um, a few little baby hairs in the front. It's not, a, um, it's not a lace front. It's almost like a, it's a parted closure, if that makes sense. So, you don't get the full ear to ear, you know, usually with synthetic units, if they have like a little bit of lace in the front, it's from ear to ear. This one only goes about here to here. So that's why I said it's like a closure unit, um, if that makes sense to you guys. But you get a little bit of lace in the front and then you get six inches of parting space. So you get all of this parting space, but then you only get like the little bit of lace from here to here. So she's really long. So this is what the inside looks like and you can see all of that parting space and then this little bit of area right in the front this is the little lace part that you get to create your baby hairs but it only goes from here to here so that's why i said it's kind of like a closure synthetic unit except you don't get the full amount of parting with the closure but i don't know that's just how i'm explaining it guys so first thing that I'm going to do is because this lace does look a little bit dark for my skin tone, I'm going to go ahead and take the Sally Hansen Leg Spray and this will also camouflage the knots that are under here um, and I'm going to go ahead and do this thin strip right here that they give you as a lace part and then the parting area and then I'll go ahead and put the unit on. So while that's drying, I can go ahead and tell you guys that I did tell you guys in my last video that I was going to look into getting some type of platform where I can give you guys my units because I told you guys that my synthetic units are always up for grabs because I just have too many of them. And um, I said that I was going to work with Poshmark. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I was going to work with Poshmark because that was recommended a lot by you guys. And then you guys just pay for shipping and then you guys just have the units and they'll be yours. Um, but a lot of you guys told me that Poshmark does not do international shipping and I want this to be fair and I want to give all of my subscribers a chance to get these units because it is going to be a first come first serve basis so whenever they go up on, on my Poshmark or my Depop Depop? I don't, I don't know what any of these things are called, you guys. So whatever it goes up on, um, then I want I want it to be fair and I want people overseas and stuff to be able to get these units because a lot of these units aren't even available to them. Um, so if you guys can comment down below and tell me which one of these like apps or platforms whatever they are any other ones that could be international then leave them down below for me um, and then that way I can give everybody a chance to get these units so I can definitely tell that this unit is big head friendly it's super duper stretchy like it still fits my head because I have kind of a small head but it's like super stretchy um, so it's definitely big head friendly and then I forgot to show you guys what the actual unit looks like on the thing so here is the unit um, on the packaging. I got it in a number four, and this is just basically what it looks like. Um, I'll have all the details down below with direct links and everything that I'm using, like always, you guys, that would definitely be down below. But now let's go ahead and figure out what to do with this unit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off, push these hairs back.
So right now I'm just thinning out the lace area just to give it a more realistic look. Okay, so now that I have this part thinned out, if you guys can tell, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the parting area. So I'm actually gonna add my silicone strip to it. I forgot to put it on before I put the wig under. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my silicone strip to the middle portion. So right now I'm just thinning out the area that I plucked just so I can make um, the baby hairs and I want just as little hair as possible. And I forgot to tell you guys that this unit can be worn as a side part. All you do is literally you just turn the wig to either side that you want the part on and bam. Okay, so now that we have the baby hairs cut, we can go ahead and take a little bit of the Got To Be Glue Gel. And I like to do this with my synthetic units just because it kind of holds like an anchor. <laughs> yeah, there's hair everywhere. Ugh. Um, just because it kind of like, when the glue dries, it kind of holds the baby hairs down to the forehead. And that kind of keeps the wig in place along with the wig grip. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do the baby hairs now. Take a little bit of dry shampoo to knock the shine off. And then take a little bit of this concoction that I made with water, fabric softener, and a little bit of argon oil and just hit the back. Just to keep it moisturized and it'll help with the tangling so much. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you wanna stay, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, everything that I use, direct links, everything will be down below in the description box like always. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.